Yes, that's right. It's Joe here for Joyrider TV. On board with Laura. Wave at a camera, Hi. please. <laughs> yeah, one, 50 seconds to go to the start of this battle royale. 45. There should be enough wind to just about double trapeze. 40. There's a few crab pots on the start line, which might not be in our advantage, but uh, 35. I think let's go and have a look at the pin. Okay. Let's do something different. Do you want me to let, let go? Uh, no, it's cool. 19. Okay, all right, so we got off the start line there. We had Herb underneath us, which isn't ideal, but when you've got one of the quickest boats kind of in front in that spot over there, it's not quite so bad because you know that they're not gonna pinch just to stop you coming past. Let's go forwards just a, a smidge. Yeah, so this is race uh, six of the Midwinters East Regatta on the Hobie 16 in the fleet. I think there's maybe like 25 boats in the fleet, but I don't think everyone's here, are they? Oh, it's a few boats. Yes, that's what we want. Ah. Herbs and spices. Um, we're just chasing the breeze, trying to find better wind than everyone else. Up ahead, that's Rich McVeigh from the Class Association. He is pretty lethal on the 16, actually. He's very quick. He makes a lot of good decisions. What we found? Seven. 67. Three laps today in this race of this uh, upwind, downwind uh, course. Up ahead, up ahead is... Uh, is, is Bradley from the North American Association. It's all association up ahead. Herb's tacked off to get out of uh, this noise that we're creating on uh, this Hobie 16, which incidentally is called Lucky. And it's been uh, lucky both good and bad. Not all luck is equal. <laughs> Unlucky. Unlucky. Yeah, unlucky. All right, I think we'll... Yeah. If we get a bit more... If we get a bit more wind, we'll go. We don't want to be the last one to tack. Okay, just getting knocked a little bit. All right, this is going to be tack of the day because we've got to cross that other boat. We should be all right. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Are we okay or are you? Oh no, we're going behind. Tortola. Let them come. Yeah, we're good on those guys. Something I learned a long time ago, which has been very valuable, is how to judge collision courses, whether you're gonna pass in front or uh, in front behind, or if it's gonna be a crash. And it's, it only works if you've got a horizon. If the horizon's going one way next to the boat that you're looking at, you're gonna go in front other way behind and if a horizon isn't moving then that means you're going to crash there you go thank you very much you're welcome yeah. all right all we need is five knots more wind so that we can really unleash the beast which is 
the boat speed that we have available to us. Yeah, it looks like it. So if we hit that wind, we're just gonna come back very slightly. Okay. Something else that uh, Danny and Costas have uh, taught me in the past, Olympic many time tornado sailors and world champions, is even if it means going the wrong way a little bit, if you can get to that strong wind first, you're golden. Boom. Unless it's already too windy for you. In which case, you're not golden. You're more like a dark brown. There we go. All right. Just come back a smidge. Oh yeah, we're looking pretty good here. Okay, you ready? Where's Herb? I just don't want to attack in front of him. Oh, he's miles away. Okay, ready? Let's go. Attack was a little bit early. Dang it. Yeah, we're gonna have to put in two more tacks. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. Let's go now. Here we go. All right, and we'll tack before we get to Florida. Okay, yeah, we're gonna tack just under them. Okay. You ready? Yep. Okay, here we go. All right, just need to get up to speed quickly. Okay, we salvaged that pretty well. Bradley looks like he's Really try to sail head to wind to get to the buoy. That buoy, sorry. Herb, oh, he's he went no, he went too early. Oh dear, Bradley's in a world of pain. Poor Bradley. Yeah, I think we we got away with that because because yeah. Yeah, if you're gonna get it wrong, make sure everyone else gets it wrong as well. <laughs> Top tip. And here we go. Nice work, Tom. Nice work, okay. But, all right. More wind would be welcome at all times. We want to be able to unleash the beast from its cage. Currently we're in a cage of uh, the wind being kind of enough, but not enough. Very exciting times, head to head with the boat that we're calling Florida on this downwind leg. 
fighting for third place. We're going to do what we can to hang on to this and... Uh, Uh, okay, yeah, so we want to kind of jibe fairly late for it so that we don't get tangled up. All right, just sheeting a smidge there. Nice. All right, nice puff there. In these puffs, we're really able to drive off downwind quite nicely. And then in the lulls, we're just coming up a little bit. To keep the apparent wind on 90 degrees. Hope you've been enjoying the coverage from the Ocean Springs Yacht Club regattas. If uh, you've enjoyed watching them half as much, as I've enjoyed putting them together, then that means I've been enjoying it twice as much as you. Which is probably about right, because I'm the guy who's been getting the spray in the face. <laughs> pulling the sails up, pulling the sails down. Cayman seems to have us on boat speed a little bit to windward. It's all right, we're not going to get excited and do anything different. We just want to continue down this right hand leg because all of the other, however many it is, like, I don't know, 60 boats are uh, starting their races at the moment and we don't want to get tangled up with them. Uh, okay, gotcha. A big part of this midwinter's regatta is avoiding traffic, staying out of trouble, keeping the dream alive, believing that it's po but it's possible. That's where the gate is. Okay. It's the Hobie 20 fleet coming in. We'll go pretty, a bit further than the other boats this time. We've got a really nice gust there. And what we don't want to do is jibe to go through the middle of the 20s. Right, we're just we'll jibe once we can clear the blue one. Okay, you ready? ready. Can we clear the blue one? Yes. Yeah. All right. Nice, sporty. Yes, we're right on the ley line here. I think we might have lost a little bit on this downwind leg, but that's all right because it's the upwind where we're really going to devastate the fleet. Sheeting a bit there. We're just a little bit higher than we were. Yeah, maybe sheeting a little bit more. bringing the traveller in slightly because we're in sort of downwind mode high, if that makes any sense at all, rather than downwind mode low. 
Yeah, we we just jibed a little bit. I think we jibed at the perfect time, but we don't want to point straight at the bu buoy because that'll mean jibing and then heading up all as one manoeuvre. And I can almost guarantee that this Cayman in front of us is going to almost stop when they go around the mark. Um, no, um, not in a bad way, let me clarify. Uh, they'll stop because they'll try to point as high as they can to stop us from getting over the top of them. But that's okay, we don't want to go over the top of them. We're just going to blast through their dirty, um, uh, if the wind will allow. Oh dear, there's a wayward wave. Night. We've got a crab, a crab pot gate. Gate of crab pot. Yeah, we're going right, yeah. If we, if we can do something that isn't going to happen, then that would be nice, but we can't. So we just have to do what is actually possible. Hope you've been in enjoying the crystal clear audio during these transmissions. This is coming from Instamic. If you want to get hold of one, just check out the link in the description below. By clicking on that link, you are supporting the channel because I get a small amount of commission if you buy one using my code. Thank you very much and enjoy your crystal clear audio. Totally waterproof, very little. All right, we can have rights here. Water! All right. Yeah. Nice to call you right, but not nice when you. Can you get up just a little bit? I mean, just on my knees. Sorry? Do you want me to get up just a little bit? Um, yeah, we're going to have to let them go and then duck below them because they're just going to stuff us up. All right. Yeah, go for it. Almost as predicted. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, when you have rights at the, um, the leeward mark, they don't have to give you space to do what you want. They just have to give you enough room to go around on the inside, which they did. But now we can stretch our legs. Now we've smashed through that bit of dirty. Come on, wind. Five knots more. Is that too much to ask? Probably. All right, just getting knocked a little bit as we go down. We can stay with it. We don't want to tack off too early because uh, we'll get knocked on the other tack. Here. A lot of crab pods. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, just to keep us informed of what we're doing, this is the second upwind leg of this three lap race. Currently somewhere around fifth. Nice gust here. I feel like the wind is a little bit more round to the left this time. Got it. Thank you, by the way. Good wind up here in, on this uh, on this shoreline, but we don't want to go for too long. Should have headed that way too, 
yeah. So then we'll get a lift as we, when we tack over. All right, I think next gust will go. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting knocked more. All right, I'll give you the countdown this time. On zero we go. Okay, I think, here we go. So we're gonna go in three, two, one, and we're tacking there. Okay. Now, if those NACRA 20s would do us the, the uh, courtesy of just keeping going till they're overstanding the mark, that would be great. Rather than tacking anytime soon, come and hoovering our wind up for us. Oh, Florida's double tacked early. Interesting. We've got rights on these 20s, but we won't use them because what we don't want to do is push one of them up so they sit on top of us for the next half an hour. Oh, okay, yeah. Come on, wind, five knots, maybe 10. Greedy. Okay, three. Feels like quite a long course today, this one, would you say? Pterodactyls. Oh wow. Gosh, they have hit the fast forward button going up there, it seems. Crap, uh, on your left. Yeah. I think Spain might have taken the lead. Yes, we definitely get lifted as we come further out here. Which does mean we've got to sail a little bit further before we can tack for the buoy, buoy. And I wouldn't be surprised if Jim on board Spain there is a little bit early. So at the moment we can see the horizon is just going is it going our way or is it going his way? I don't know what you mean, but I think we're, we're going to hit him. <laughs> thank, you, thank you for your yeah. confidence there. All right, yeah, look at him. I don't, I don't love it. No, I think we've got to go, though. All right, we'll do another... Okay, you ready? Okay, let's go. Oh, got the main sheet round my leg. So Herb is kind of like our marker for the left-hand pack. 
And I think Jim is having to sail pretty high on board Spain. Came and might have tacked a little bit early. There's Tortola in second. All right, just come back a little bit. So the difference here with this um, fast catamaran racing is if you do overstand and there's a bit of wind, you don't lose out as much as you would a on a keel boat or a monohull where you don't gain quite as much speed. That knacker is going to park in front of him though. Okay, yeah, whenever you like. Sorry, a bit slow getting sorted out there. Rope around the corner casting, never a good look. So I think we're fourth. Nice of that Nacra to put up a spinnaker and disappear off downwind. Appreciate that. Very kind. We've still got dangerous herb behind us. Who likes to cocktail party his way downwind and uh, sneak up on you and uh, before you know it he's gone from where he is to where he wasn't that guy so just to recap this is lap two still got one lap to go and even though it did look like it paid like Jim on board Spain going up the other way up the upwind I still prefer what we did because it's when putting a uh, a series together if we compare this to gambling he yeah he just got a good gust by doing something completely different to the rest of the fleet even if you're fairly convinced that it's right it's like going all in when you're gambling so we don't want to go all in we're just trying to put together a reasonably consistent series but all in could take us to first place could also take us down the pan uh, all in uh, down the pan down the pan down the pan. Uh, pan is another name for the the toilet oh. and uh, down the toilet is the bad place Okay, just sheeting a little bit. So I know I know that you know what you're doing, but um, but some sometimes uh, I'm just looking everywhere. Which way's Rich gone? Wow, he Rich is a country mile in head. In head, ahead. Oh, head. He's sailing in, sailing it until the wheels come off. <laughs> the wheels come yeah. Off. Where is he? He's right over there. That one? The white one. All right. I think we're just going to follow these guys. Um, so we're on starboard tack. We're going to be driving onto port, which maybe means Jim might be an issue. But you we've got to go. All right. You ready? Sneaky herb. See, he's sneaking up on us. That is sneaky. Uh, okay, we're just, we're kind of going mode slightly higher. 
here just to protect our wind as much as we can. Inside hip. Uh, yeah, you're good there. It's Oh yeah. He was getting uh, uh, west, Jim Westered. He was getting Jim Westered. Yeah. He's getting Westered. Nobody likes that. <laughs> oh, and here's our old fleet, the Hobie 14s. Laura was also sailing in the Hobie 14 fleet. There was almost a mutiny in the fleet this morning when there was only one boat who actually wanted to go sailing. <laughs> Out of the 14. Yeah, it was just Jose. Always Jose, he's come a long way. I think Jose's from Puerto Rico, isn't he? Jose! Fan favorite, Jose. Okay, you ready to jive? All right, we're a little bit early just yet. All right. Here we go. Right, yep, 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 traveller in. First time at the gate where we didn't have a boat parked in front of us. That's quite nice. Oh. Herb's having a little, yeah, clean ankles. All right, which way do we need to go? This crab pot up, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and there is good wind, so we should be able to protect our position here. Currently in fourth. Anyone going around the other way? Yeah, Jim West's gone the other way again. He obviously liked that. There was a bit of temptation there. Crap up to right. Looks like a little wind line. Nice. Okay. Right, if we hit the wind, yeah, come back. Yes, it's the other side there. Nice. Okay, third and final lap. Yeah, we've got good speed. We've got Eric behind us looking a little bit dangerous on the F-18. F-18 wind hoover. Tortola there, just single trapping. And paying for it, they're not going very, really going quite slow in fact. I think they might have a problem on board there. Okay. But it looks like it's the header coming a lift. A lift. Last time I was down here, I was practicing how to tack on the Hobie 14 back on Sunday. <laughs> Tacking a Triscuit. Oh, yeah, he's right in the danger zone now. Yeah, if he could go a bit faster, then we'll go clean behind him. All right, it looks like they're losing the wind there a bit. We should tack. Okay. Right, you ready? We'll go in three, two, one, and we're going there. All right, where's Eric? Is it? Oh no, that's not what we wanted. Because <laughs> he can point higher than us. All right, we're going to need to... Right now, you are, you're way higher than Eric. Yeah, that's how we need to keep it. You got a crab pot on your left bow. I mean, yeah. Oh, that's Robbie sailing with Eric, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Has be safe. There is so much positive energy on board that F-18. Eric and Robbie are possibly two of the nicest people I've ever met in my whole life. They really are. 
Yes. You don't. Maybe I say that about quite a lot of people, but that's because I'm very lucky to meet such a lot of good people. Nice. Yeah, we're looking a little bit better against Cayman and against uh, whatever we're calling that other boat. Uh, the one in front, uh, Tortola. Tortola. Right, if we get more wind and we lift the hull, we'll just come back slightly. If. Oh, if. Yeah. Look at that, there's a, uh... oh no there isn't, I'll withdraw that. What I was going to say was there's Rich at the Windward Mark already, but he's not, so I won't say that, because that would be wrong. One of the nice things about this regatta has been, on the 16, soon as it's double trapeze lift the hull we're very confidently quick which uh really helps we're not so confidently quick downhill but we kind of we can hold our own just about but you may say well that's all good and well to say that but um what if you're not confidently quick upwind? You may well say that. I have no answers. What are you even talking about anymore? <laughs> 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 These double negatives and <laughs> Yeah. But then it does seem like as we get further up here we're getting lifted, which means he's getting knocked, which is kind of like the race course is kind of skewing which is sort of evening us up a little bit. So he probably got a lift up the majority of his uh, port, port tack. So now we'll have to overstand. Yeah. Very difficult to judge the ley line going that far out as well, especially with this sort of shifting wind. So I'm gonna stick with our decision, but yes, it was a good idea. I'll be looking at the ley lines. Johnny Cash. We're just hoping to Johnny Cash in on this uh, <laughs> next tack. I'm not going to go too soon. Yeah, we might be looking pretty close there. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, you ready? Here we go. So we haven't actually done very well there against the boats that went the same way as us, Tortola and yeah, all of them have uh, made gains on us, unfortunately. So it looks like Florida is gonna be our closest competition. With our Herbs having a duck. Johnny Blue Stripe there. This is our last lap, right? This is our last lap.
I'm going to drive over. You ready? Okay, so just driving off here for a bit, just to get away from that traffic, which would certainly have held us up. The next good gust and we'll drive back, just to stay with the fleet. Okay, you ready for another jibe? Yep. Okay, let's, let's go. We're all clear, aren't we? Okay, you wave. Thanks. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> thanks a lot. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like it's just. Just slowing down. We are. They are. I feel like yeah, maybe we should go for another. Well, we're going to go for another two anyway. If we get a significant gust, we'll go for a jibe. Okay. So we do that. It means we get the gust for twice as long, basically we jibe when we're in the gust. All right, they're driving. Jim just drive. Wow. All right, and there's that gust. You ready? And there it is, you see, when we're just by the finish line, that's when I hear the watches beep. <laughs> that's weird. Whole race, I haven't heard it. Uh -huh. Very strange. All right. All right, so. 14, but they're on our track. Where's Jim? Jim's miles away. Okay, so we're safe. We're not going to. Our position, unless something really wonky happens, is pretty set. So I think we'll just keep going and drive by the committee boat. Always nice to uh, actually hear them right down the in. <laughs> yeah, we might hear them say our number. All right, okay. All right, here comes the jibe. Last jibe of the match. Not of the match, of the race anyway. Okay, so there we go. I think that was the sixth place. We lost two positions on that last lap, but never mind. Thanks for watching all the coverage from Ocean Springs. I've been Joe, this has been Laura. That's Mark and his team on the committee boat doing a great job. Woohoo! We didn't get a horn. No, but you, you only get a horn for first. Oh. So there we go. We'll see you soon with some more on Joyrider TV, the home of underachievement in <laughs> catamaran sailing. Right, go jibe and then we'll.